to them it is not given. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom la peace unto the elect. Now, to them it is not given, is an excerpt of the verse that we will read in context, so we will actually get the whole thing. It doesn't really make sense without it. Right. So Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And now, at least I was taught in a churchical sense or whatever, that the parables were um, given so more people could get it. <laughs> you know, that more people could understand. Right, and there's we'll keep we'll keep reading. It said, For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore I speak, therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy. Meaning what? Meaning it was said before that the Lord has set it up perfectly for this. Again, there's no free will. No one decided, you know, we didn't choose Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai chose us. That's a, a spin on the worldly phrase, I didn't choose the thug life, the ch thug life chose me. But that's also true, that's also true. That how, whatever um, path you, f you find yourself on, the Lord ultimately set it up like that. But anyway, Matthew 13 and 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, 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 which saith, By hearing you shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is what is gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. So it's a blessing even to, not knowing it, again, we don't know if we're of that number, but the fact that we've got, we know what we know, that's a blessing in itself, man. You know, that's a blessing in itself. A blessing in itself, should I say. I believe that he was referring to, should I say, Yahweh Shai Salakha was referring to. Yep. And even, even, um, no, I'll leave that for now. I was, I'm always trying to do too much, man. Isaiah, like, I just lose track as well. Isaiah 6 and 9, and he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. So if they, if they hear, that, that's, well, that's a, that's a, how faith comes man Romans 10 and 11 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and ultimately again the Lord has blinded people you know made people blind unto that it's not where they've blinded themselves or you can you can say that they, they turned their ear or some such but ultimately who turned their ear you know you have to start thinking of it on a um, a macro level and Second, Second Corinthians 4 and 3 But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach Who is the image of Yahweh should shine unto them And again, even when um, Hashatan Even when the adversary, the power of this world Even when he is going against and, and closing people's ear Who gave the commandment, man? Who gave the... Um, who gave permission for that to take place? Let me say. Like you can, you, we can always go to that one in Job. In Ayah Wab. Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to present themselves before Yahweh. And Hashatan came also among them. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, or Shatan, Whence comest thou? Then Shatan answered Yahweh and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And they, they, they're having a dialogue. 
They're not having a um, people who use the revelation, not understanding it, war in heaven and say, see, see, like um, they imagine Hashatan is taking battle on one side and the Lord is taking battle on the other and they're actually having a physical altercation in, in the heavens. Not so. When you read about the um, Satan and his angels, there's Michael and the, and the Lord and his angels, that's talking about Esau Edom, trying to fight against, because we could, no, no, I'm trying, let me be disciplined. <laughs> we could go into that. No, brother, you'll forget what you're about to say. So basically, it's not a free will thing, man. And to them, it is not given. No, not 8 and 44, 6 and 44. St. John chapter 6 and verse 44 says, No man can come to me except the Father, which has sent me, draw him, and I'll raise him up at the last day. So unless the Father, Yahweh, which sent Yahweh Shai, had drawn a certain man, individual man, woman or child, drawn them unto Yahweh Shai, then they won't get it. If they've not been preordained, um, set up for that, they're not going to get it. And if, they, if they've been set up not to get it, they're not going to get it. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahawashai Hamashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved and I'll, I'll leave it there predestinated Chosen before the foundation of the world. I mean, this was it's all, it's all to script, it's all going to plan, even when it seems oh, that, that that's not going to plan, it's all going to plan, maybe just not your plan. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's plan, the plan of Allah Hayyam. Romans 8 and we'll start at 28, and we know that all things <clears throat> work together for good to them that love Yahweh. To them who are called according to his purpose. Again, you have to you have to um, make your calling an election sure. But ultimately it's already set up. Yeah, it's already been set up. As we're about to find out. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. To them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. We go into that word image, if I'm not mistaken, it's the word icon, icon. But you get the common English phrase or word icon. Icon. It's strong to you. Alright. Romans 8 and 29 again. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What should we say that what should we say then to these things? If Yahweh before us, who can be against us? <laughs> and I'll keep reading un until um until the end, man. I'll keep reading until the end. Finish the course. Alright. What should we say then to these things? If Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai before us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, and all is talking about all the nation of Israel. But delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect is Yahweh that justifieth who is he that condemneth is Hamashiach that died yea rather that is risen again who is even at the right hand of Yahweh who also maketh intercession for us who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us and it says he loved us first so we loved him it says for i am, persua for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Aman. Aman. And it's all according to the Spirit. All according to the Spirit. It's already been ordained. There's nothing we can do but play our role, man. 
On to the next one, Lord William. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kwadash.